everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. We are in our 27th year uh, with the Toolbox site. You can find it at journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, and it has a lot of great features on it. Uh, you can open up uh, any of these different uh, sections here and find uh, tools and resources that are helpful to you as a reporter or editor. Um, and you can scroll through and uh, you know click on any of these. Many of these are free tools, some are paid. Uh, we also have training videos up here in the right-hand side and a newsletter that comes out every other uh, Tuesday. Uh, we have uh, more than 75 training videos up here on the uh, uh, YouTube channel that are all free. They range anywhere from three or four minutes long up to about 15 or 20 minutes long, depending on uh, you know how long and how in-depth uh, the piece of software is. Uh, the newsletter uh, I mentioned comes out every other Tuesday. It's a Substack. Um, uh, they're very quick reads, uh, so you can open them up uh, in your email. Uh, and it always lists some helpful tools, you know, typically a training video or two either that I've done or uh, you know, one of my friends in the industry have done. Um, so, you know, do take advantage of this. Uh, it's free uh, and uh, you can really learn a lot uh, just by opening your email, which is great. Um, so today we're going to talk about a tool uh, called Visual Ping. It's one of my favorites because I get this question all the time when I'm out uh, doing trainings uh, in newsrooms. Uh, people want to know, hey, I want to track a website and be notified when it updates. Uh, I don't want to have to keep going back to this government web page or whatever site you're tracking and reload it every day and see if there's an update. I want I want the update to come to me. Um, you know, some websites have that feature. Uh, you can sign up for a little uh, email alert or something like that. Um, uh, you know, Google Scholar has that where you can follow certain uh, authors uh, and it'll trigger a little alert to you uh, when they publish. Uh, but most websites don't have that, and especially uh, not government websites. There is a tool out there called Visual Ping. It's visualping.io. Uh, it'll help you track uh, those web page updates. Um, you'll receive that email when it uh, updates. You control uh, what percentage of the page uh, that's being updated to trigger the alert. If it's a small update, maybe 5% of the page or 100% of the page, a big update. Um, I usually uh, mark mine any uh, update, uh, and you'll see in a minute when I demo the site how that works. Uh, it saves you a ton of time having to check dozens of sites. Um, the account, uh, your beginner account, uh, if you sign up for it, it offers uh, up to six websites to track for free. Um, but just let them know that you're a journalist uh, when you're signing up. Uh, it has you know, a little uh, area to fill out what, you know, some demographic information about you. Let them know that you're a journalist. Uh, after about a month of using it, they contacted me, uh, which is great customer service, uh, and told me that they, I could have unlimited uh, sites to track for free. Uh, because I'm a journalist, which is really nice. Um, there are paid uh, models for this where you can track more sites and, and do some different things with it. Uh, but really the free model uh, is the one that works best for you. Um, so again, they have that really good customer service. Uh, also, if you have any problems with the site too, uh, you can reach out to them very quickly. Uh, so this is a tool, Visual Ping. Uh, when you come into it, uh, it'll have a little uh, a registration page that you'll fill out. Uh, and then uh, you'll have your uh, account set up up here um, with any billing information if you're gonna uh, do a, a paid account. Um, and then uh, you can start creating what they call jobs. Uh, there's a little blue button up here at the top. Uh, and your jobs appear over here. And here I've got two of them running off of this account. I've got uh, multiple uh, visual ping accounts. Uh, and I'm following two sites off this account. Uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Illinois Economy, uh, at a glance, um, and also their COVID data page. Um, and, uh, you know, we've had some slight updates here and, you know, uh, six days ago, five weeks ago, a couple months ago, uh, where they've made some, some small updates to it. Uh, my settings on here, and I'll show you how to build one of these in a minute, uh, is it checks, it scans their site every day. You can have it, uh, you know, uh, scanned weekly or, you know, a few times a day, things like that. Uh, I always set my trigger to any change on the page, and, and I do you know, kind of a visual change. That way, in case they update a graphic or something like that, uh, it picks up, so it's not just text, that type of thing. Um, so I'm gonna go here and, and do a new one for you. You can search for other jobs. If you have multiple ones here, you know, that go down uh, several uh, pages, you can search for them here and label them as you see fit. I just went with the web, uh, web pages uh, description. So I'll hit new job here. Uh, and uh, a screenshot of my site will pop up in this little field uh, as I add uh, my project here. 
Um, so I'm going to give it a description here, and it's FDIC failed banks list. And that is this website right here. Okay. Uh, this updates every so often with another uh, failed bank. It goes has all failed banks in the U.S. back to October 1st uh, of 2000. So it doesn't update that often. But you know, if we get into a recession, some banks start failing, uh, it'd be a good thing to be tracking. Um, so you can enter your web URL up here. I just cut and pasted it out of the browser window. Uh, hit the go button. I always label it first. Uh, and then you can do your settings here, frequency, you know, the threshold. Do you want it to be a text update uh, or a, an element on the page update? Um, I usually do mine, you know, uh, as a, a, a visual and kind of spread it around the whole page. Um, I could set it, you know, since this is largely a text page as well, um, to, uh, to just that. So, you know, there's my page. Um, I want it to set to every day, tiny. I'm going to set it to any change. Um, there are other uh, actions, uh, you know, that I can set here. Um, but usually I just want my update, um, you know, double check before sending me an alert. Uh, you can do that. Um, I don't get that many alerts. Um, I think if you had multiple accounts and, and pages that were updating, you know, several times a day, uh, the double check might be uh, good to, you know, say, hey, I want to wait seven, eight seconds before it sends me the alert um, just to make sure that it's an actual update. I don't have that many, so, you know, uh, it's, I'm probably fine with just uh, uh, you know, no uh, uh, update uh, uh, alert uh, or pause in the alert at all. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit create job. And now I have the FDIC failed banks list. And, you know, there's no checks over here or changes detected, but I can come back here in a couple days and, you know, I'll start to see my uh, updates here. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, if there were any changes uh, uh, detected on the page. Uh, and it sends you an email as well, which is fantastic. Uh, and it gives you, you know, your little alert uh, and you know if that web page has been updated or not. Uh, be helpful for your Board of Elections. Um, you know, we just finished the midterm elections. Uh, but in Chicago, you know, we have a mayoral race coming up here in February and, and uh, in April. Uh, it would be a good thing uh, for us to be tracking the Chicago Board of Elections, even the State Board of Elections uh, web, website as well. Um, so, you know, those are some uses for this tool. Um, again, if you're covering a beat and you have to go back to a website time and time again, or need to know if it's uh, updating, uh, this is the tool for you. There are other tools similar to this out on the market. Uh, Visual Ping I find uh, the most easy to use and most intuitive to use, uh, and I think it'll be a, a good resource for you. Uh, so don't forget journalisttoolbox.org. Um, it has uh, many tools like visualping.io on it.